There was another, another blow to Prince Andrew overnight. Councillors in York voted unanimously to remove his honorary Freedom of the City title. Well, Royal Editor Russell Myers joins me now. Not really a surprise, I'm sure, mm. but just they just didn't want to be associated with them, did they? Well, they didn't, and it's like one of the uh, final indignities, what you, you might say. Yeah. Um, the the councillors of York uh, got together, put a motion together, and uh, and it got a groundswell of support. Now, this mm. was supposed to happen uh, a month ago, got quite a bit of traction. Then a lot of the councillors got COVID, so they were back oh. yesterday, and they voted uh, overwhelmingly to strip him of the freedom of the city. And so one may ask, well, what does this mean it's an yeah. honorary title and it's normally bestowed upon people who actually deserve it i suppose sort of uh playwrights you know people yeah they've uh, had winston churchill Judy Dench, exactly. people like that. and he yeah. got it in 1987 you think we're back into that age he just emerged as sort of war hero mm. from the falklands war mm. and how far he has fallen since then indeed and in fact they want they they don't want him to have the title of duke well of they york. don't they just no. don't do not want the the york the well, city to be associated well i think one of the councillors said uh, they want to erase the stain of his association with the city i mean that's pretty punchy it um is. and you can understand why He's just settled this uh, huge, huge settlement of, of £12 million pounds in the United States. Although he says he's not done anything wrong. And, well, he said he'd never even recalled meeting yep. her. So oh, it's, uh, it's well publicised, this bizarre uh, set of events with mm. uh, the Duke of York. And, of course, they are now calling for the Queen or, indeed, the government to strip him of the Duke of York title. I don't think this will happen because we've already seen the Queen walking arm in arm with him you know, down Winston with yes. Westminster Abbey. Yes, so we know where she feels on the, uh, mm. on, on the whole scenario. However... Um, it opens up the possibility. Where will we see him? Is this? Uh, I mean, he still thinks there's a, a chance of a be rehabilitation. Well, of there's course, there's the big jubilee, as I keep calling yes. it, the big <laughs> jubilee uh, celebrations to come, of course, and it will be interesting to see because that's going to be very much down to the Queen's y decision, y absolutely, whether yeah. or not he will play any sort of part in that. But she's she's nobody's fool, no. and she saw the reaction after he walked her. You know, he helped her at the at, at the um, memorial. At the, yeah, memorial, yeah. Yeah. She, so she knows. Yeah, I mean, again, it would be very interesting because there's a lot of, um, whether it's at some of them are family events, mm -hmm. I mean, the occasion is, right. is, is, is for, the, for the nation. Well, maybe she should take sort of heed from what the nation were feeling, I think. Yeah. And, uh, and, and if he was sort of out of sight, out of mind, it might be better for everybody. How's she doing? Because she's back at Windsor. She is. And, and she's got uh, a sparkle back, we hear. Well, I was speaking to someone at Sandringham and look, she's no happier than when she's with her horses. Oh, and that's her... Yeah, and she said, uh, said, someone said to me, they, she was looking resplendent and rejuvenated. Good. So, I mean, this is fantastic because she'd flown to, to Sandringham to stay at Wood Farm, which is where uh, the Duke of Edinburgh sort of spent his last years, really, since mm. he retired in uh, 2017. And, um, and you know, she, she just wanted to be on her own. Very, very modest birthday celebrations, I understand. Had a bit, a few people over for tea and cake. And uh, she's, she, I thought she was looking really, good. really well. And That's that is fantastic news. It is. And now, there's a new royal dream team. Yes. A dream duo, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the Princess Royal, Princess Anne and Kate. Well, what is more surprising about this is this is the first time they've I... done an engagement together. It's strange. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I keep talking about it, especially since COVID, yeah. that I think that a lot of the royals will have to get out and sort of do things together. Now, sure. Princess Anne and Kate were at the Royal College of Midwives and Obstetricians and Gynaecologists yesterday. They are patrons for each individual charity. And uh, visiting the Tommy Centre, talking about to a midwives, all all about sort of birthing and uh, I mean Anne had some of the doctors and nurses in stitches, excuse the pun. <laughs> However, she was telling this <laughs> frightful story about how she thought she'd got her baby wedged inside her when she tripped over a horse box. Utterly, utterly bizarre. Now, oh, crikey. Yes, indeed. <laughs> anyway, Anne was leading from the front. No business, no uh, nonsense for the business, yeah. as usual. And Kate was following her lead. But I think we, we would love to see a bit more of this. Yeah, that works so, so it well. Work very, you know, very well. Yeah. I mean, Anne's got so much, Princess Anne's so much experience. Indeed. Um, yeah. You know, she is a, a masterclass in how to do it, <laughs> how to just get on with it. Get on get with it. Get on with it. That's what she does. Thank you, yeah. Russell. Thank you so much. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.